yeah, a lot of people are sitting at home and they're going, you know, not really loving my job, or I would like to do something else different now. Like, how can people kind of keep in mind that this is a little bit different than normal, but also like maybe pursue something different? Yeah, it's it's pretty fascinating as far as the 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 amount of respondents I think who are just reassessing their life and their career. Uh, close to seventy percent of people overall, and we we poll office professionals. So uh, as far as you know, that's concerned. Up, up to seventy percent. That's that's a lot of people that are reassessing what they're doing in their life and what they want to do moving forward. Yeah, and let's kind of break that down a little bit. Like, it's not necessarily, I am now going to go be a movie star, but it's like, do I like this working from home thing? Is this part of my job worth that? Can you kind of look at, can you kind of explain that a little bit? Well, it's not only that, but it's people reassessing what it is that they're doing as far as their, their job is concerned. Uh, I personally recruit for a lot of finance and accounting professionals. And I even have a lot of people in that field coming to me saying, hey, what do you think about an operations position for me? That sounds like a lot of fun. I get to be able to do different things than I've been doing for the last 10 years or so. And therefore, that can kind of reinvigor, I suppose, their career and their excitement about their job. Because you know, just going to a job every day and just kind of mundane, doing the same thing every day all the time, uh, is now starting to become a little bit of a, a of a hiccup in people's life and just thinking that maybe I could do something different with my life and the way that I actually enjoy my career. Yeah, it's um, there's nothing like a pandemic to make us reevaluate our priorities, right? Yeah, no kidding. And it's interesting too because it's it's not just a young person thing. You know, we typically think that, right? With young people, they're going to go out there and, hey, I'm just going to go and do this now because I can or this is what I really want to do with my life. Uh, but it's even people in getting close to retirement age that are thinking along these lines. We've seen 40% of people, 55 and over, are reconsidering their life as far as their career is concerned too. So um, it's not just those who are uh, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, you know, that, that might think of something different. Yeah. And what are the kinds of things that are making them necessarily reevaluate? Do they, are they looking for something more exciting? Are they looking for a little bit more stability? Um, I, I would say... I would say definitely stability is one of those things. And that's one thing that we clearly got a really good indication of <laughs> during this whole pandemic is how stable your career is, uh, how valued you are as an employee. Uh, were you one of the first ones who were kind of considered to be a furlough or a layoff or something along those lines? Um, and that, you know, definitely makes you consider what it is that you're doing in your life and whether you're, whether that's going to be the path that you want to follow for the rest of your life. And not only that, but we see that people are considering work-life balance. Um, it was a thing before this whole thing came into play, but it's even more of a thing now because we are all just reconfiguring our schedules and how we do things and where we go to do things and everything that really kind of had come into uh, life and career heading into this has now been reshuffled and we just kind of got to reset the, you know, the, the game, I guess, as far as what it is that we consider to be something that we want to do moving forward. And is there something that um, employers can do to try and keep those people that they have who are maybe thinking about doing something different? Well, we have to understand that even though there is high unemployment, there's still obviously some employees out there that are really the engines that make the company go. Those are the people that you really need to make sure that are continuing to be satisfied with their position because if they're not, then they could potentially be looking elsewhere. And in other companies who can recognize that talent or recognize that engine of growth will take advantage of that situation. And it's not just, hey, it's high unemployment, so therefore we're going to have lots of options here. You still want the best options. So making sure that, that employers are taking care of their good people, whether that's compensation, whether that's making sure that they have that, those flexible options in their career or at least in, in what they're doing, and you know, taking care of their kids. I mean, heck, we've all been through this as far as going the whole distance learning and stuff like that, or at least those, who, those of us who have kids um, have had to go through that. So having that flexibility flexibility and being able to um, be, again, very flexible as far as that's concerned is going to be important for a lot of employers. 